All right. So there's two parts to this problem. We have that the characteristic equation associated with our differential equation of y double prime of x plus a times y prime of x plus b y of x equals zero, and such that r squared plus a r plus b equals zero. So we want to show for a that if r naught is a real root, then y equals x, y of x equals c e to the r naught x is a solution to the differential equation. And then we want to show that if r naught is a real root and it's a repeated root, meaning r squared plus a r plus b equals r minus r naught, all of that squared, then y equals x equals c x e to the r naught x is another solution. So let's start off with a. And the way we're going to show this is first by just taking the derivatives of y of x. So we know what y of x is. I'm just going to start off with y prime of x. And the derivative of that is c e to the r naught x times the derivative of r naught x, which is r naught. So it's just c r naught e to the r naught x. Okay? Well, that was weird. And then our second derivative is going to be c r naught e to the r naught x times the derivative of r naught x, which is r naught. So we can just say this is c r naught squared e to the r naught of x. All right, so now we're going to plug this in to our differential equation. So y double prime of x plus a y prime of x plus b y of x. Kind of looks like a c, but it's a parenthesis. Is equal to c r naught squared e to the r naught of x uh, plus a times c r naught e to the r naught of x plus b times c e to the r naught of x. Okay, so now I'm going to pull out c e to the r naught of x. c e to the r naught x times r naught squared plus a r naught plus b. And so now, because here we said that the characteristic equation was zero and r naught is a root, this here is zero. So zero times c e to the r naught x is zero. Therefore, it works. Yay! Awesome. That was a. So now for b. I'm going to write it in a different color. I like using different colors. So b. So now we want to take the derivatives of c, I mean, of y of x. So y prime of x equals the first part times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So we have cx e to the r naught x times r naught plus c e to the r naught x. So this is just c x, wait, c r naught x e to the r naught x plus c e to the r naught x. Okay, so now our second derivative is again first times zero to second plus second times zero to first, and then we have the derivative of that. So this is c r naught squared x e to the r naught of x plus c r naught e to the r naught of x plus c r naught e to the r naught of x. Combining like terms, we end up with c r naught squared x e to the r naught of x 
plus 2c times r naught e to the r naught of x. Okay. So now, before we move on to plugging things in, let's take a look at this right here. So, can you erase? Do that later. Right, right here. Um, if we were to factor this, um, yes, we have r squared plus a r plus b. Uh, r minus r naught, that whole quantity squared, become is the same as r squared minus two r naught r minus r naught squared plus r naught squared. So from here you can see that a would be the same as minus two r naught. Put this here. A equals minus two r naught. So now going back and plugging this in, we can say that y double prime of x plus a y prime of x plus b y of x equals c r naught squared x e to the r naught of x plus 2c r naught e to the r naught of x plus a times c r naught x e to the r naught of x plus a times c e to the r naught of x plus b times c x e to the r naught of x. So right now I'm going to pull out C E to the R naught of X. It's the first thing I'm going to do. So we're left with R naught squared X plus 2 R naught plus A R naught X plus A plus bx. Okay. So you can sort of see a similarity. I'm going to make that a little bit clearer by now separating this into two different parts. One with x pulled out and one just as c e to the r naught of x pulled out. So c x e to the r naught of x times r naught squared plus a r naught plus b plus c e to the r naught of x times 2 r naught plus a. Great. So we said that a is equal to negative 2 r naught. So 2 r naught minus 2 r naught is 0. This all cancels. Write this here. So this is 0, goes away. We also knew that this is going to come out as 0. 0 times cx e to the r naught of x. It's all 0. That means it's 0, and it's right, and it works. So that means we just showed that y of x equals c e to the r naught of x is a solution to the differential equation. And then for r naught is a real root, and then if r naught is a repeated real root, then cx e to the r naught of x is another solution. There you go.